Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Vampire the Masquerade Redemption. Last time we started making our way throughout uh, Visserod Castle and started getting notes um, from some of the other Voivode, Voivode Urdo I think his name is, I have no idea what a Voivode is. I'm guessing they're kind of like the higher ups, um, saying that uh, Vukodlad, Vukodlad, Vukodlav, something like that. One of the guys has been very, very naughty and trying to usurp the throne. And it's been suggested that he be put into a grievous torpor for 2,000 years. With the hopes that he uh, gains some humility during that time. And we have also been getting, been reading letters from Libusa the Defiled. Who has, uh, who spoke of someone... <gasps> replacing her station and I'm really hoping it's not a Nesca What are you doing? She's a, how did you get down there? Serena hath need of thy What? Are you attacking me? Are you done? Me. Return to me. Attend me. Attend me. Oh, man. All right, shut up. He's still there. You know what? Fuck you guys. You do whatever the fuck you want to do. Beyond the store, but oh, <laughs> yeah. 
The fuck is that? Oh. Okay. Uh. Well, um... Yeah. Are you- where's my- Yeah, we don't need to see this every time. I can't even dodge that. Like, it's... There's... I, I don't know what to do with that. I am. I don't know why none of them are attacking. Return to me. Send me. She's just fucking standing there, like... There is nothing. Uh, I was just looking to see if there was a way to... You know, there's some secret to the room, but no. We got him. Alright, 
Alright, good job, guys. I'm guessing this is... I'm guessing this is the boss. Certainly looks like a boss area. Nezka, I sought thee for love. So predictable, so pathetically predictable. Like all oafish mortal men, thou come a-trotting when a woman beckons. Oh, how thy sinful words offend mine ears. Did not thy carnal lust die with thy mortal flesh? Love, love that is pure, love can release thee. Only the bards and the diseased of mind pay heed to such rot. Oh, fair Anezka, what have they done to thee? All manner of delightful things. I am thoroughly defiled now, and it is all because of thee. Forgive me, Anezka. I never meant harm to come to thee. But thou harmed me all the same. I will enjoy the taste of thy Bruja blood. It is so clean compared to the sweet corruption of Zamitsi blood. Bid the devil greetings from me, for I send thee to hell! Anista is mine now, Willet! Another of my servants that await me in my slumber. Even now she grows strong as my blood courses through her veins. As I rise to meet the night sky of the new millennium, the very antediluvians must shudder in fear. I shall protect thee from these monsters. I have a ceremony of resurrection to perform. Be gone! Nay! The wolves fall about us! Release me! Never! Let's go! I didn't see that coming. Good work, brother. I'll alert Father Alicius that it's a rubber. Then we get over it. Crystals. Arise. Thou art in grave danger. Who? Trifle not with me, servant of the Zemitsi, for the hunger is so great in me, I would gladly squeeze all thy blood from thee, and still not be sated. Where is Anezka? I don't know any Anezka. Where is thy master? For if such a one as I survived, surely the ancient Vukadlok endure still. I don't know anybody named Vukidlok. Thou speaks the language of England, but in a manner most passing strange. Who is thy master mortal? Would the Society of Leopold? I know them not. We slay vampires. Die, Christoph! Die! My name is Christoph Romuald. I was a man of God and a soldier in heaven's cause. I am now outcast of heaven, and not even a man. I am kindred. I am a vampire. Okay, so, a couple of things. 
first off, one of the things I remembered about this game was the time jump. Um, and uh, I did actually very briefly gave this upon a walkthrough um, a few days ago, just to see how far I was in the game. And I saw that I was coming up against the, um, the time jump. And I didn't want to say anything during the game because I didn't want to spoil anything by even saying that we are actually about a little more than halfway through the game at this point. Um, because, you know, many people at this point would, at that point would think that getting a Niska is like, once you get her back, it's the end of the game or something like that, right? No, we're only about, again, halfway, two thirds through the story, somewhere between there. Second, um, the stuff that I was saving in my inventory, in my, uh, not in my inventory, my, in my loot box. I was looking to see which items would actually cross over. Because I know not everything travels with you to the future. Um, but I was looking to see what would. It's not the biggest deal if if we lost like a, a lot of items. It's not the biggest deal in the world. Because money, I don't even think money's a thing at this point. Or uh, however much money you had back then, I don't think even carries over. Um... And the Society of Leopold that the guy was talking about, as they said, they, they hunt vampires. Um, in the modern age, it's much more... I don't want to say common. It's not common knowledge that there's things that go bump in the night. You know what I mean? It, it's still not that common. But there are active forces against it, like the Society of Leopold. Uh, the Hun Hunter the Reckoning series um, is basically all about mortals humans uh going about and you know fighting things that go bump in the night such as werewolves vampires wraiths zombies mummies anything you could think of and there's actually even a game series hunter of the wreck i believe there was two or three games if i'm not mistaken um they were kind of isometric uh I don't want to say shooters, but I, I think, obviously, I mean, use guns and shit. But anyways, I'm, I'm talking too much. Now. I also know. That there's kind of like a, a thing, uh, an in-game, not a cheat, but... A manipulation if you will of the game where if you raise your manipulation high enough you can actually buy items cheap and sell them back at a at an increased price but you have to be incredibly high i think it's like like 80 you have to be like 80 i'm not really going to do all that um especially not for like my first time playing um but what i am going to do i'm going to raise my wits and intelligence Just because it's it's becoming apparent that there are some bosses, some enemies, just like the one we, the fucking thing we just fought. Um, it's better to have spells uh, that you can cast at a distance, like even the um, the prisoner of ice spell, where entombs them in ice for like even five seconds is huge. So if I can do that, that'd be fantastic. So let me see what we have here. So right now we have lure of flames. So if I put torch, fireball, flame ring, I don't even have it. I need 50 intelligence. Okay. So let's just say I put 50 intelligence. Immolate. Then just touch target with searing flame. Sure. Firestorm creates a rain of fire from the sky. I think we did that once uh, when we were in the. Um, where were we? I think we were in the dungeons coming out, the Teutonic dungeons. We had a scroll of Firestorm. So I think this is what I will do. Um, maybe I'll raise. 
my wits as well. And I know I was going to get Feral Claws last time I was saying. Um, at 5,000. I, I think we're okay. Yeah. yeah. I think we're good here. Oh, okay. So it looks like some things came with me. Ooh. Plasma bag. Aletius journal entry one. A metal sling that hurls deadly stones. Tis simple to use, yet murderous beyond measure. I see that man has not rested in his quest to create ever more powerful weapons. Wow, he's got quite a lot of blood in him. For someone who has been sleeping for... I don't even know how long it's been. Escape from the Society of Leopold. Free yourselves from the clutches of the vampire hunters and escape to the streets of London. London. So it looks like the exquisite items came with me. I mean, might as well use the sword. Yeah, it looks like none of those bullions came with me. The heart shield. I might as well wear that as some kind of armor, even if it is stake protection. Actually, yeah, these guys might be using stakes. There's nothing else in here, right? Doesn't look like it. Where am I? What sorcerer's abode is this? Aneska. Oh yeah, let's read this. From the journal of Father Leo Wallacius, Society of Leopold. Joy! My research has paid off. The fools who laughed at me won't be laughing now. Won't the leaders of the Society of Leopold be chastened to learn that I have uncovered the location of Viserad Castle? Why the Society of Leopold will leave a vampire alive in a coffin is Who's beyond that? me. A vampire! Kill him! Back off, bloodsucker! I'm sending you to hell! I can't wait to get a hold of some damn people. They'll burn like tinder! What a way for this guy to go. Holy water. Use discipline prayer. Scroll of 
pull lightning. Lightning! Can't see me through here. I'm well, this, I'm well hidden. To the abyss with thee. Journal Entry, August 1999. The Prague excavation is finally on schedule. The kindred resting places have finally yielded up their secrets. And we've gotten the crates of Earth to London without troubling customs. Dr. Alasius is finally pleased with us, after giving us hell for two years. How the fuck does Kristoff know how to handle a computer? Charge! Oh, there's another one. Ooh, cash. How much cash do I have? 49. I have 49 bucks. The hell are they doing here, man? Ew. Blood pack. Knuckles. It's just funny to me, his bullets do, like, this much damage. One swing of the sword, eviscerated. My burdens prevent further cumbrance. Yeah, I don't know what that would do. Walk the abyss. Um, I'll take it for now.
You know, let's see the let's see the gun. Well, after I kill this guy. I can't wait to get a hold of some damn kindred. They'll burn like tinder. Um. Yeah, I didn't think of that. You know, what? just put the thing down for now. Seems like I'll have to be back this way anyway. You go through bullets too quickly. I love how the scientists have like use disciplines. I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense. Kinda. Oh, that's bullets. Thought it was cash. Um. As much as I would love to play with that, I do not have the space. Uh... Okay, I think I missed a switch somewhere. Kind of curious. Who's that? Let loose thy wrath. You feel your unlike losing away. 
No. Not even in the slightest. I'm sending the you abyss. straight to hell! Straight to hell! Ah. Die, filthy beast! Ah. To the abyss! Ooh, money. You drop something. Where is it? Look how all the world hath aged. And I have aged too. I feel old and drained. And weathered as all these relics. Uh, actually, I have space. Yeah, I can easily get rid of the pistol clips. And I can get rid of the gun afterwards if I need to. Who's that? It's me, Kristoff. Listen. Listen. Not very nice. And you threw stuff first. Journal entry, October 1999. We've been driven off the dig. Damn Zemitsi. We've lost half our forces. Back to England to regroup. Still, Dr. Alatius is oddly optimistic. He reckons that the ancient vampire we found will be the key to carrying on a holy crusade. I want to douse the undead wretch with petrol and strike a match to it. But the doctor knows best. Apparently, doctors always know best. Isn't that what they say? Who's that? Oh. To the abyss with thee. Is that? Oh, a plasma bag. Eh. Scroll drawing of the beast. Oh, they're right there. Yeah. I don't think I need either of them. Again, this sword really does take care of my blood needs. No, in hindsight, that was a bad idea. I've been saved since Visorod. Yeah. Okay, I think that'll do it for this episode. Um, crazy stuff, right? lot happened this episode. We finally found Aneska, but she has been turned. I don't think I saw her teeth as, like, sharp, so I think she's just a ghoul. Um, or at least in the very early stages of turning into a vampire. Um, and now we've gone hundreds of years in the future. Crazy stuff. But, yeah. We will continue on through the Society of Leopold in the next video and 
see what London looks like in 1999 and how Kristoff deals with it. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.